please rise and we will have our prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, guide us, give us wisdom as we start this lesson for this day. You will guide us and uh, give us knowledge and wisdom to understand the lesson. In Jesus' name, Amen. Present the objectives, objectives of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to identify the ingredients and procedure of drying, demonstrate the process of drying, and value the benefits of drying in daily life and future use through class participation. Okay, good day everyone. My name is Janmart Manyakap, your instructor for this lesson. So our topic is all about drying. So by the way, you can also search our topic in internet so that you can gather some information about our topic. Good afternoon class. Before I will start, I will request you to arrange your chair and pick some clutter around you. And then, please take your seat and I will take your attendance. Group 1. Group 2. Group 3. And last, Group 5. Class, I have a picture here. And I will ask you to determine about this picture, okay? Uh, Quincy, what have you noticed this picture? Very good. How about you, Hannah? Are you famili familiar with this picture? Very good. And how about you, Jennifer? What kind of preservation is this? Very good. Okay, congratulations. So for today's activity, you will group yourselves into five groups. And since you are 15 all, each group will have 10 members. Okay? Now start counting Miss Antonio. <laughs> Done? Okay. And since you already have your photocopy each group, I will let you read it and brainstorm with your group too, so we can proceed. Understand? Okay, now you start. So are you done with your brainstorming class? So now I'm going to ask you a question. My first question is, um, what are the ingredients of drying? Anyone who can answer, raise your hand. Oh yes, you. Good, that's good, good answer. Then my second question is, uh, what are the procedures of drying? Anyone? Who will answer? Oh yes, you. Okay, excellent. So my third question is, um, how does the drying help you in your daily life or in a future use? What? Anyone? Anyone who can answer? Okay, you. Correct. Let's proceed. Class, what is drying? Drying is a method of food preservation that works by removing water from the food, which inhibits the growth of microorganisms. Open air drying, usually sand and wind, has been practiced since ancient times to preserve food. Water is usually removed by evaporation, air drying, sand drying, smoking, or wind drying. But in the case of freeze drying, food is first frozen and then the water is removed by sublimation. Bacteria, yeast, and molds need the water in the food to grow. And drying effectively prevents them from surviving in the food. Okay, diba? As what you observe, drying is one of the most effective preservation that our ancestors used before because drying can be consumed through a long period of time. Okay, let us move on to the ingredients, materials, and procedure in making dried fish preservation. So, does anyone here already know some ingredients, materials, and procedure in dried fish? Anyone? Okay. Miss Acidilio, can you cite some ingredients, materials, and procedure in making dried fish? Uh-huh, very good. As what can you see in the screen, there is dying, a Filipino poverty food. 
So that is our example for today's discussion. So first, dried split fish, commonly known as daing, is the fish that has been converted from the fresh state to a much lower moisture level with the use of heat with or without salt to maintain its acceptability over an extended period of time. So these are the ingredients. For example, we have 60 kg fresh galunggong, 6.5 kg salt for every 60 kg of fish, and 5 gallons of water. And the materials are strainer bowl, cutting board, knife, big basins, brining container, wire screen mesh over 12 meters cut in half. Okay class, so the procedure in fish drying. at most ambient time or temperature and also in this method complicated machinery and requirements or equipments are not required and also behind of these advantages that fish drying has it also has disadvantages class so the disadvantages are first in this process it can only be carried out on or when we had bright sunlight. So if we don't have bright sunlight, our fi our dried fish will be rotten. So second, long duration required. Sometimes under the unfavorable operation operational parameters, it makes several days to complete which affect the quality of final product. And now class, Make a group consisting five members and each group will perform the drying preservation with video and documentation of the process. And the final output will be presented here in the class. Do you understand? Now that we are done with our topic later, I will send a link or I will forward a link later for our assignment and for your quiz. And for your quiz, your quiz will be all about, uh, you have two uh, forward me or send me the list of procedures and ingredients of fish preservation and for your assignment you have to watch a video and then uh, make a fish preservation let's say you have to choose drying or uh, smoking watch a video and then forward uh, show me on how to process the fish and then you, your submission will be about October 30, 2020